City dwellers seem to love a good nickname. The Big Apple is New York, Romans live in the Eternal City, and the Pearl of the Orient, or the Paris of the East if you prefer, is Shanghai. Well here in the City of Winds in Baku in Azerbaijan, they might want to consider a rebrand. Because despite the fluttering flags and the sleek, sail-like structures all around me, it's not winds but brainwaves that are sweeping these streets as hundreds of super smart students from across the world have gathered here for the 49th International Collegiate Programming Contest, ICPC Global Finals. We want to interact with other university people and we want to learn about the lots of information technologies associated with competitive programming. Especially knowing that everyone here is like uh, one of the best competitive programmers and uh, we can always learn from each other. Teams of three work collaboratively, as the ICPC puts it, to quote, solve algorithmically complex real-world problems within a gruelling deadline in a battle of mental endurance. As if that's not enough, judging is, quote, relentlessly strict. But well, we think uh, these problems do need a lot of uh, implementation tricks. So, uh, in school, we often deal with some uh, theoretical problems, but here, we, we need to program uh, really careful. So, it's a challenge for us. You can also apply in your possibly daily life, I guess. Like, you can use programming to automate a lot of things, and you can feel it in the world. And for me, it's like a dream come true. The challenge powered by Huawei posed a photo tessellation optimization problem actually very popular with the students and even the eventual winners weren't confident of victory as the scores were slowly revealed. I am not confident <laughs> at all because for the scoreboard fraud, I was the first but I only made up going up to 10 points. So I think that many other teams will get higher score. There is one uh, submission which is the last minute and I cannot view the submission score so I am not confident at all. So before the contest ended I, uh, I thought that I have only 20, I have 20% chance of winning. And what was it like to win? How did you feel when the scoreboard did show you as winners? Very happy. <laughs> it was not really surprising because I thought that it is possible as I heard some of that other team score. It was very happy. Another fact, so you weren't confident. You were confident. You get the deciding vote. Were you confident or not? Well, I wasn't confident that I will win the first race. Actually, like, like he said, like hearing other teams scores, I felt like our team maybe get into the upper four teams. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how did you decide how to divide up responsibilities? When you saw the challenge, who did what? We thought that like all of us implement codes like indiv individually, maybe the things may get more complicated. Mm -hmm. So I didn't do the coding. He, the, those two did the coding for two different ideas. And I was mainly doing like listing up promising ideas, like pr providing like some points of improvements to the submitted codes, giving ideas and also did the coding. So how important is that combination of expertise, but also teamwork? I think that in this contest, teamwork is a must because in this contest, a lot of ideas about success. Uh, for, for our team, the first idea failed. <laughs> So to come up with many ideas, teamwork is a must. In addition, if, we, if there is only one person in the team, during implementation, during coding, we cannot think the solution. So teamwork is a must, I think. It's, it's very interesting. Were there moments then that there was a, a breakthrough moment when you were doing the coding, you failed a couple of times, but was there a breakthrough eureka success? I think that the breakthrough is uh, uh, pretty similar for everyone, but there's a dynamic programming solution that plays the each row and calculates the optimal placement for each row. Without this idea, we failed. And I didn't even think that this solution also works. So I was, until the solu this solution works, I was wondered how the top people are getting that high score. But when I, he implemented this solution, it was, a total surprise. <laughs> oh, successful surprise as well. And what difference do you think these kind of contests make for your future careers, your future work? These kind of like heuristic problems are more similar to the problems we, that we see 
in our like real lives mm. and development. So maybe like training this kind of heuristic contest enables us to those yeah, real tackle world the, yeah, those pro industry problems. Yeah. Okay, interesting. And now I know that you two are twins. You've got your birthday tomorrow, so happy birthday in advance. How will you be celebrating this success today? I don't know, because tomorrow's contest is also important. This contest is also important, but tomorrow's contest is also important. So you're, so, not, cel you're not celebrating yet, you're pausing yeah. your way. Yeah. Well, nevertheless, congratulations, all three of you. A really good victory and very hard-earned. Well done. <laughs>